Well, Speyside High School has been producing some attractive football in the secondary school's football league. And it has left them just five points off the pace set by league leaders Samoan North Secondary. On match day seven, they faced an opponent with solid credentials and it made for an entertaining encounter. North Zone powerhouse East Mokorapo Secondary traveled to Tobago to take on Speyside High School. On taking the field at the Speyside Recreation Ground, East Mokorapo win the bottom half of the table with three wins and three losses for their nine points. While the home team had ten points from their three wins, two losses and a draw. Speyside employed their classy passing game early and glided into the Mokorapo area. But Cox followed the play and cleared off the line from Omar Daniel. How this one was missed is still being discussed from Speyside to Charlottesville. They were edging closer. Raquel May Phillips taking some paint off the upright. The breakthrough came in the 35th minute with a touch of niceness. Daniel with the footwork and shot from the tight angle to make it 1-0 Speyside high. Daniel was shooting from all over as he went in search of more. But 1-0 is how it stayed to the halftime break. The East Mokorapo goalkeeper did his best to keep his team in the match as he denies George with his push around the post. Then he fumbles and recovers well. That second goal did come from the home side. Phillips with a strike in the 87th minute. It looked like a 2-0 scoreline in favor of Space side as the game drifts into added time. But East Mokorapo got a consolation four minutes in. A three-way accident in the penalty area and Jaden McShine reacts first to make it 2-1 the final score. Wayne Cunningham, TDG Sports.